Hi, my name's Karen. <laughs> uh, call me Kachow. Um, I have, I owe so much to architecture school and how I got in and how the profession has shaped me and my aspirations. Okay, editing Karen coming in. Um, but basically, you know when people are like, oh, what do you do? Tell me your life story. And then you're just like, I don't know, bro. Um, so basically, um, I work at an architectural firm that's medium to large size by day. And then by night, um, I'm trying to improve my 3D design skills and animation skills and open up my small business. So this, along with several videos, will just be me talking about how architecture has shaped my life as well as my aspirations outside of it in the further design field. Like, what did I wish I knew before applying to architecture school? Because it's such a myth, bro, it's such a myth. If my cousin, girlies, if my cousin didn't come from Hong Kong and live above us to study um, architecture in the States, I would have been some random business student. So here are a couple of things I wish I knew, because I've learned I've willingly and unwillingly learned so many things in the past five years. It's psychotic. It's psychotic. Number one, portfolios don't have a formula. You need a portfolio to apply to architecture school as with a lot of design majors. Some universities, well, I applied in 2017. Some universities have different stipulations. Like for example, University of Michigan asked me for a floor plan. I think that's an, a big reason I didn't get in. I didn't know what a floor plan was. But the basis, typically, you do not need to know architecture. You do not need to have architectural drawings in your portfolio. Mines, I'm very passionate about painting, about um, portrait photography. So those were a solid... Who am I kidding? That was 100% of my portfolio. That's my portfolio right here. These were the pieces I grew up painting and doing art classes my whole life so that was that was just feel that was the why is that so that was the feel a lot of people get deterred by this first process because no one really has the resources and it's kind of this mysterious formula that you're trying to crack and yes it's subjective to the schools and the people that are reviewing your portfolio but it's also not that deep just be true to yourself um and yeah make some work and curate it and think ahead if you're like a year away from applying to colleges but honestly that's the tea number two this is how i wish i'm from chicago this is how i wish i knew how to get plugged into the local architectural activities in my city there's so many free programs that i didn't know um if anything if you live in a suburban area contact your closest local AIA chapter, American Institute of Architects, um, and they're kind of the governing professional body um, overall organization of architects, and be like, hey, I'm a student that's really interested in X, Y, and Z about architecture, and honestly, I... I don't know this off my head, but I feel like over the years, so much of programming got hybridized. Um, so there's like free Zoom lectures from different universities or AIA might know, but they might be the people that can like point you in the right direction. I also know um, the program I mentioned, ACE, which I can talk about later, was the most rewarding experience of my life. Thank you so much, ACE. Um, I know I had to dig to find that information because they really promoted it in some high schools and not in others because most of it is volunteer um, professionals giving their time to teach high school students. But that was a free year long program that I got plugged into because I scoured, I scoured the internet for those opportunities and it was, it was amazing. Um, I owe so much to the mentors that like were willing to talk to me at that time. Um, so if you have a local ACE chapter, if not, contact AIA, maybe they know people, maybe there are smaller efforts, maybe there are architectural courses um, in local colleges, maybe there's um, free walking tours, um, just plug into your most local architectural organization and just ask for those free opportunities because I'm sure there are. Um, number three, look up if you want to go to an accredited or non-accredited school because for me personally, I am from a first-generation low-income household. 
um and i did i personally do not think that a six seven year program was right for me um so i found a five year accredited program you can either do and please look up this look this up after the video but you can either do a four plus one or a four plus two at an accredited university and there are a lot of programs that are non-accredited but if you really like the school if you really like the program the professors the teachers the classes then go for it but you're gonna have to continue to get accredited and do more schooling after at another way so that's four plus one four plus two um non-accredited program and the last one is if you did a completely different undergrad, if you were a freaking bio major, if you were a bio major and then you just wanted to decide to switch up, switch, switch it up a little, become an architect. You need, I'm pretty sure, a three year program or a three year degree at a master's school and then you're set to work after that. I have, I have, a, I have a, f a fat list, guys. Also, look at my stickers. Okay, I don't know if you're the type of person to like stock laptop stickers but I think it tells so much about a person and I, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so when I'm like peeping people at the library, I'm like, okay, girly, I see your motivational quote. Um, so yeah, for example, um, I made this, if you want to, no shit. If you want to like buy this sticker, it's on my website soon and I'm super excited for it. Whatever. I'll pop the number, number, whatever. Um, this is the pro. Um, it's a very rewarding and exciting field. Um, like I said before in the video, like my cousin got me into it because she was like, okay, girly, you like art, so you can do so much with this major. Um, even if you don't like it, it's just very, if you don't like architecture, it's fine, but it's a very applicable major. And so, yeah, there's so many things that I know now, like I know every Adobe product, um, Photoshop, Illustrator, and InDesign, like the back of my hand. Granted, a little bit of After Effects was introduced when we were full COVID um, during my schooling, and that sparked my interest about incorporating more design and technology in my own extracurricular. Okay, basically, editing Karen coming in. Um, I just got too excited to talk about architecture, but there's so many ways that a you can buildings can affect like future generations of people um, marginalized communities um, any interest that you have in sustainability or um, different niches whether you want to work with specifically hospitals renovating offices of the future there's just so many things that you can do and so many just good things you can help with the landscape so just the possibilities are endless and i never realized that when i first started out so there's a little taste of like what you can experience if you major in, in architecture i guess the last one you bonus <laughs> we do not personally as an artist we do not draw enough in architecture school but that's also a thing if you're not artistic don't sweat it if you're not great at math don't sweat it like the biggest things are knowing the ratios, keeping like a certain number of rules in your head. Like, so these are just rules that get embedded into your head slowly in school. Like by no means do you have to be a genius to do architecture. But, and hopefully these are things I can help you with. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. If you're similar or related to the field and have questions or can relate to some things, cause I'm sure you can and like, you can learn so much from people in your field, from people outside of your field, new insights. Like, please drop them all, because I'm so interested. Bye. What did, what did they say? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Not yours, mine. Ah, thank oh, you. Thank you.